there. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're bringing you an incredibly powerful and free local installation tutorial for the WAN 2.1 video generation model. This will allow you to create a variety of high quality, detailed AI videos without spending a dime. Without further ado, let's dive right into the tutorial. First, let's briefly introduce what WAN 2.1 is. Following the open source release of Hunyuan Video, WAN 2.1 is another robust model developed by China's Alibaba Cloud. It supports both text-to-video and image-to-video tasks, and currently offers two parameter sizes, 1.3B and 14B. The 1.3B version requires only 8 gigabytes of VRAM, making it ideal for local deployment. Additionally, WAN 2.1 excels in semantic understanding, physical realism, and complex motion representation with the 14B model ranking among the top open source video models. After two days of exploration, we found its video quality and generation speed to be truly impressive. Next, we'll guide you through how to locally deploy and use the WAN 2.1 model. Video production isn't easy, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your support. How to install WAN 2.1. Step one, install git and dot net eight SDK. If you're using Windows 10, you'll need to set up the Git and .NET 8 SDK developer environments. Head to Git's official website. Links for everything we'll use in today's video are in the description below. Download the version for your computer and double-click to install. Then download the .NET 8 SDK by opening the link and installing the appropriate version. Step 2. Install Swarm UI. First, go to Swarm UI's GitHub page and scroll down to Installing on Windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, those options are available too, but we'll focus on Windows here. Click the blue link and it will automatically download a launcher. Save it to your desired installation location. Avoid the C drive as the model files will take up significant space later. Double click to run it and it will open a command prompt to begin the installation. Once installed, Swarm UI will automatically start its server and open a browser window for the setup page. Follow the on-screen instructions there are about seven steps, and once completed, you'll see the Swarm UI interface. Easy, right? If you accidentally close the interface, simply navigate to the installation folder. Find launchwindows.bat and double-click to reopen it. For convenience, you can right-click to create a shortcut and place it on your desktop. Step three, download model files. Next, head to Hugging Face to download the base model files for WAN 2.1. If it's your first time logging in, you'll need to answer a few basic questions before downloading. Choose the file that matches your computer's specs. If you have eight gigabytes of VRAM, we recommend the 1.3B version, which is under three gigabytes. For more powerful systems, try the 14B version. After downloading, open the Models folder in Swarm UI, then the Diffusion Models folder, and place the downloaded file there. You'll also need to download two additional files, the clip, and VAE files. For Clip, choose the FP8 version if you're on an average computer. Once downloaded, place these files in their respective folders within the Models directory. Step four, download workflows. After downloading all the model files, you'll need one more file to start creating videos. Go to the workflow website where you'll find three files, text to image, image to video 480p, and image to video 720p. You can download all of them or just the ones you need. Drag and drop the files into the Swarm UI browser page and it will automatically open a new workflow. That's it, all the prep work is done. Now let's move on to the tutorial. How to use WAN 2.1. Once Swarm UI is open, a workspace will pop up in your browser. Don't be intimidated, it's actually quite simple. Start by clicking generate at the top, then select models below. Here, you'll see the models you just downloaded if they don't appear, hit the refresh button. If they still don't show up, double check the file locations. Select the WAN 2.1 model from the left-hand menu and a text to video button will appear at the top. Here, you can adjust the video's frame rate and export format, e.g. WebP, GIF, MP4. Once set, click Comfy Workflow to access the workflow panel. The green box is for positive prompts, the light red box for negative prompts, and the bottom panel lets you adjust dimensions and duration. Enter your prepared prompts, click Q, and wait for the video to generate. The time it takes depends on your computer's performance. 
you can check the generation queue in the top left corner. Once done, right click to save the video. For image to video, simply drag the workflow template in and you'll see an upload image node in the bottom left corner. Upload your image and wait for the video to generate. And that's the full tutorial on using the WAN 2.1 video generation model. Now let's take a look at some examples, real world examples. That's all the information and tutorials we have for WAN 2.1 today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you run into any issues, leave a comment below and we'll be happy to help. See you next time.